For this assignment, we'll be copying a piece by Edgar Payne. Payne was arguably the most gifted of the historic California plein air painters. He utilized animated brushwork, a vibrant palette, and powerful composition arrangements to achieve his beautiful imagery. At the time, his paintings were a break from the grandiose of the Hudson River School. He preferred a more human scale depiction of nature. This is an untitled piece known simply as Eucalyptus Landscape California. The original was done in oil at, nine, at 30, 32 by 40. This composition is a beautiful play of light, shadow, shape, and color. The patterns of light and shadow draw us to the center of interest. I found several compositional schemes that explain the structure of this piece very well in Payne's wonderful book, Composition of Outdoor Painting. Interest with, within the opening, interest on circular lines, and trees featured. Composing with an O or the steel yard can also help us to understand this piece. The first thing that I did to help me sketch out this design was to divide the piece into quadrants. After do doing this, I appreciated the structure of this piece even more, seeing several possible paintings within the one. Here and here, and even the two quadrants put together. Also, this secondary focal point became more obvious. It's just a bit less intense than this area over here on the left-hand side. Also, these spots of red on the rooftops and then over here in the foreground get to bounce back and forth. We get to be drawn from the foreground shape here back into this area here in the, in the light. So um, we're going to really enjoy painting this and we're going to jump right into the drawing. Okay, for this assignment, we are going to be copying the work of a master, Edgar Payne. I've always been a really big fan of his work. If you're not familiar with him, you want to get familiar with him. This book, Edgar Payne, Composition of Outdoor Painter, is a must-have for any landscape painter, and I would venture to say for any painter. It's just chock full of wonderful information. I have mine all marked up but particularly it talks about composition uh, of landscape painting, so it's wonderful. Now, I chose this particular piece that we're gonna work with today. I chose it because of the strong composition, the patterns of light and shadow going back towards the horizon. Also, it is a wonderful example of massing the foliage clusters. Also, in doing that, he used very direct brushwork, faceted marks, strokes that describe actually how the light is hitting the forms. And I really appreciate that. Some of the marks even um, have a bit of a almost pointillist aspect to them, the way they're put down, very direct, very wonderful. Also, I was super attracted to the blue sky. It's fairly dark blue sky and I think it's going to be a great challenge to get the value relationships correct with that. So here we are. I have marked off the proportion. The reproduction size is was five five and a half by seven and a half. So I marked this off a little bit bigger, eleven and a half by fifteen and a half. And I found that proportion using my handy dandy proportion wheel. And then I've gone ahead and divided my uh, frame in, in, in half, uh, in quadrants here. And you can see that we have this nice um, example here that's going to really help me get my drawing correct from the get-go. No guesswork. So I can come along um, pretty easily. I can really see what's happening in each of these quadrants and get my drawing really accurate, which I really want. So I'm going to 
um, grab my blue spruce here and come along and um, first of all just get um, some of these shapes just kind of marked in. I think it's just kind of wise to go ahead and get some of these tree trunks kind of established. And with that, I'm going to go ahead and kind of, uh, in that kind of faceted um, mode, think about these um, kind of masses of foliage. And this one's even lower, actually even lower than that. And this one kind of comes down. And one thing I, I, I really want to catch in this is the distance. See, these these um, foliage masses are really actually pretty close together right here and I think that 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 closeness of these this this mass here and this mass is part of what makes this really really attractive because we're looking through to this little um, lovely little scene in the distance and I, I think that that's important so I want to make sure that I get so that I that I catch that really well. This cast shadow comes right across. This dips down this whole mass here. I'm gonna go ahead and get this guy in over here. I can already start to say some of the darks and lights, but I think I I just mostly write oh off in off the bat want to get the silhouette established. What is this overall overarching shape? That's that's not bad. There's these kind of do this. Now I don't need to match it stroke by stroke. I I don't want to I'm not really even wanting to do that but I but I do want to get the character of what he what he was doing here I can feel into that and up in here is that distant shape there's a little structure right here couple little buildings this one and there's a kind of little really interesting little tree and then here's the other the other structure a little bit bigger building and I'm just gonna kind of indicate them right now another little tree shape and then back here is a distant hillside. Get uh, just draw through. See that? Draw through, draw through. And then there's there's a kind of cool tree form in here. A couple back here. I don't need to get too carried away with all that. And I do want to say something about the gesture of these. Um, the trunks just so pretty okay and then here is this these grasses that are in shadow that are popping out of the shadow here this is all in shadow 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 all the way across 
across like so. All right. Kind of puzzle piecing this one, but that's all right because I'm going by the the grid here. Get the baseline of this tree. And the foliage. This does this really neat little thing like that. And it arches up, 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 over these masses in here. It's dark all in here. I can go ahead and do a little bit of that number. shadow side of these. Want to get that kind of stroke that he used. Using the negative shapes. Now I'm coming up to the these these main trees. I want to get that distance right. I think it's about here. Um, here's the shadow. Here's the. So I think. I think it's something like this. So I want to make sure. I have a tendency to want to make this lean. A little bit more but I, I'm gonna resist that yeah see it doesn't it doesn't lean quite as much as that I don't know why I want that kind of do but I'm gonna resist it I'm gonna come down and then it meets with this other shape and get the, these grasses in. Get rid of that. This one comes up. Then it does does this has this cool branch that comes out here and goes up and this kind of tips away from us aha uh -huh. I'm missing missing something. There we go. I'm missing the distance between these guys. Okay. I'm also, I have this too far away from these, this, this guy. Too far away. I don't, I want it to be closer. better. And there's a kind of a shape of dark in here. I want to catch. There's a 
little a branch that I want to catch this to it comes across. Just want to get these gestures kind of worked out. This is dark. And this is dark. So I just want to get these kind of uh, that looks like that. These are here. This comes out here. And, um, and then this has an interesting right about here. Yeah, maybe a little higher, a little, maybe like so. There's a branch. And it's really dark all around it, so I can kind of silhouette it. Right, right behind here. And then this light back here. This is a little bit of a kind of a V-shaped thing. Come along and get that. And then there's this little area back here that's nice that um, makes a yeah. Good. Just to lock this in a little bit. This darks up in here. And there's a shape right here. And some branches arching out. One here. An interesting little shape right there. And there's kind of some kind of middle value shapes. Oh, and then we've got this this guy. Right here, okay. it sits in this shadow pretty nicely. <laughs> it's funny. Okay. I think we got most of this that we need. This kind of does this. Oops. Got the basics. I would say I could come back in here. I got I've got a little bit more of a handle on the darks on the other side there. Some 
thickness to this guy. Okay, and, and here, this little bush is gonna be important, I can tell, because it kind of, and there's some kind of baseline shifts there. All right, and this is all in shadow here in the foreground. And keep that kind of faceted feel. Yeah. Okay, I think we're in pretty good shape. This goes out and like up this and this comes up there's some foliage in here around that and again I don't need to have it exact I just want the, the main flavor of it is what I'm after and I think I'm getting that. Okay. All right, so I'm going to stop, take a photo of my drawing. That photo is going to help me just make sure that I have everything where I want it to be before I start my painting. All right, the first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and get mass in some color and into these foliage sh shapes. I'm thinking right now about what's in the light and uh, just coming with some marks that that are uh, not only some of the value that I want in here, but also um, some of the marks, I'm, I'm making them so they face the, the light. So this is actually a, a kind of a brown, and I see that in his painting. I'm going to come in with some more darks as well. I want to keep the masses um, pretty together. Establish a little bit more of the, the darks here and there as I go. Side. The light's coming from the upper left. this. All 
right. So now I think I want to establish what's going on with, so I'm just, I always go for what's the biggest, easiest thing for me to see. And um, I think, you know, some of that right now is this, um, this cast shadow area here. So I need to pick something, hmm, yeah, actually before I do that, I'm gonna go for this green that's in the light. To me, it's really, um, uh, uh, bright, um, yeah, this kind of emerald green. So I want to go ahead and pick out, that's, this is really, really bright, but I know that I'm going to have the opportunity to settle this down as I go through the, the process of this painting. So I'm going to start out a little, you know, this is a little bit too much. But it's not a bad start. There's a little calligraphy, some talks about the topography here. Okay. And then back here, there's another area of light. And there's a real nice little thin one back here. On the other side of this. And then way back here, there's a little bit. That's not quite right. I don't think it needs to be quite that intense there. But I'm going to go with it. And then I, I see a little bit more... Uh, this is kind of it, the little bit more intense green in here. A little spot of it here. Right here down here by the tree trunk. Definitely some in here. Mixed in with these grasses. Okay, now I need something for the green in the shadow. So what is that going to be? Um, I think I, I think it's got to be that. I think so. I think that's going to be close to being, it might not quite be the right color, but I think it's close to the right value. Now I need something for those grasses in the shadow, and I think it's this. It's sort of, it's almost lavender. I think that's pretty pretty good. I probably am gonna want to add some red in into this at some point, but um But for now, that's this is pretty close, I'm thinking. So when I get up here to the light, I think it needs to be something in that neighborhood. Yeah. There's something that's something that's sort of in between. I don't know if that's exactly it. And this is more it. Some, 
sort of a transition between the two. There's some grasses up here that are bright a little light let's see if I've got something a little darker it's gonna do that for me that's too dark I'll stick with this Cool, I think that's that's pretty good. And um, I'm gonna come along with this is a T Terry Ludwig. I'm just darkening up some of these cast shadows down here just to get a feel. And maybe adding a little bit of um, calligraphy down in here. I'm not going to do that yet. I'm going to wait. I'm going to hold off. I am going to go ahead and say something about the light back here. And um, there's some green back in there. And that's much not quite right, but... Um, Not either. Too bright. Too bright. I'm going to stick with this for right now. And then here comes back. I'm just following back along the horizon there. It's getting to the point where I want to start thinking about the the tree um, trunks a little bit. But before I do that, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and get a little bit of the values that I see back in the distance. Um, back, back in here. Um, Let's see. There's this kind of orange tree right, right here. And um, it's got some. And then there's a lot of kind of green back in here. And some blue too. Um, it's kind of dark blue. Is it? It's darker than that even. There's some little foliage bits back in here. And there's a shadow side to some of the, and an underside to the trees and even these structures. And I, I think that's even darker blue. Um, I don't want to go too dark back there in the distance, but um, uh, yeah. Just so I just want to start as you know, getting the sense of that distant shape, and I I think that um, this. This distant mountain shape, hmm, it's kind of, is it this 
kind of mm, that might be too dark. Let me see. Oh, let's see. I'm gonna go ahead and give it a go. I won't really know until I get um, a little bit more going. Because we're, you know, all we're really doing is we're just building these relationships. And so until we get uh, uh, more going, we, you know, we may have to make adjustments here and there. Which is fine, it's cool. All right, so back in here, there there are some kind of tree shapes that are kind of bright. That might be that might that might not be too bad. I can always settle them down if I if if they're too much. Um, yeah. Things are too much. Can always go back. But I kind of like that. Now I'm gonna go ahead and I think right now and get the, the building kind of in because that that's gonna help. Especially the little rooftops, that little those little pits of red. Um, let's see, this one sitting right in here. Just keep it really simple. This one's sitting right in here. And then I can get something in for the front of the building. I don't want to go too light. It's already pretty light, but... Keep the shape pretty simple. Same thing over here. This one's even, you know, more like that. But I like being able to look through um, and get that quality of light. That composition's so awesome and strong. Okay. We're looking through the shadow shape here in the foreground. Then I'm going to interlock some of these shapes a little bit more, so just in an effort to really get that shadow going. Okay, just a little more sparkle in the light. All right, it's looking good. All right, right right now, let's see. I think what I'm gonna do is go ahead and get a little color on those this some of these tree trunks. And I'm thinking about, again, the, the patterns of light and shadow. Um, these are, you know, there's, there's a dappled light on these. I'm thinking about that. So I'm kind of using a little bit of a broken line. Um, to say these. The, these have a lot of complexity of color, in, but I'm, I just want to give them a little bit of a wash of this. this. And then I think this needs a shadow that's kind of this sort of purple. Same here. Sh shadow side. I think that'll work really well. Along with some of this. Just 
a little wash of this just to start out. Now what's interesting, I think, is this, this red that's right here is really helpful. It's getting, it's letting it bounce. And I think it's even, see that really helps bring me back into the, the piece. It's amazing. Pretty genius. This, this um, copying of a master just gives me such a renewed appreciation for these works and it's just amazing. for a particular stick. There it is. It's kind of a brown. You get a little bit of texture on these edges. A little calligraphy. And um, all right, so I'm going to come over here and continue on and over here, this guy is more in shadow, and I want to get the gesture of it. It's so pretty. So it's a little bit darker. All right. This could have a little bit of that darker thing going on and this one for sure it's even it's even darker it's really in the shadow so I'm going to give it this almost kind of lavender it's almost the same as this This could have a little bit of that, for sure. Up in here. All right, you know, it's just about time, I think, to tackle the sky. That's gonna tell me a lot about what I've already done, whether I'm on track, whether, you know, I need to lighten, darken, you know, what's really going on here. So I think that it's time to do that. Um, and I, I'm going to start with this blue, um, but with the intention of, of adding on to it. And again, this little space right here, I want to make sure that I keep that pretty narrow. Because I feel like that is important. I'm not going to get it any wider than that. And I want to, at this point, I'm going to get some more of these branches in there. And I can start picking out some of these negative shapes Maybe I need some more darks on this, this side, definitely. Underside of this. starts to do some fun stuff. Can get to see where I'm at with the values and the shapes and the
cool. Okay. That's neat. <laughs> track. So really just picking out these negative shapes. So fun, beautiful, just such a such a great composition. But really, you know, um, just these patterns of light and shadow, it's, you know, it's a little, you know, tunnel composition, not that hard to find. It just, you know, he's just orchestrated it so, so, so beautifully. I'm going to just start adding a little color here and there. Okay, I'm gonna go back to the sky. Oh, I just see, I just wanna play with these shapes a little bit. Cool. Just really get that kind of, just these little clusters and grouping the clusters and thinking about what's, you know, just what's in the light and what's in the shadow. And it's really um, what it's about here. So. The shapes are really well defined. So it's, you know, fairly easy to follow. Uh-oh. I don't run out of this one. See this one, this is a pretty straight line, right? right there and then it just comes down just like that it's pretty neat let's see that's that's pretty neat and this one this little doodad very faceted Sure, effective. Okay. Just come along, fill this in. Negative shape, a couple of them.
kind of opens that up. And I just want to really get this to this grass to look like it's popping up in front of the light. It's good. Just continuing on with these, really just picking out these nice negative shapes in here. It's really, it's really fun. Um, and it's interesting too. You can kind of see a little bit of a pattern of the with these negative shapes. Um, starts to kind of develop through that sort of draw your eye throughout the composition. You really see that just how how well composed um, this piece really is. I'm going to switch to a little bit darker blue down here. I really feel like it's just a little bit darker as it's these shapes are coming through the and that's a little too dark. Let's see what I got here. Not quite right either. Uh, hmm. That's not right. Let's see. I think maybe maybe more like this. That some little slivers. In here. Now I'm going to go ahead and get some other darks in these. This is this is a Terry Ludwig. adding a little bit more um, complexity to the color. Some richness to these darks. And, um, some other blue. in here just so 
just moving throughout the whole thing, kind of trying to move around the, the piece a little bit. I may want to add some more of this darker brown in here too. to add some greens to some of this foliage. There's it's surprising how little I green I see. I think I'm at that point. Let's see. Um, yeah, so Just, I'm thinking about where the light, that there's a, the lighter green, where these masses are facing the light a little bit more. Kind of works. And I'm thinking about the kinds of strokes that he made. Kind of marks. over here really see nice definition of these masses it's really cool and just kind of vertical marks some kind of horizontal strokes so, and back in here. Yeah, I'm thinking about some. bit more green. Before I get too much too much further along here, I want to add on to the sky. Let's see. And I'm I'm thinking that I want to add on another kind of blue into the sky. Um, and I, I want to play with the tree trunks as well too as I get along here. But um, Let's see here. Just really having fun with this. Okay, I'm gonna get some more of these darks in here too. Really nice, rich, using the Terry Ludwigs for this. Some blue spruce as well mixed in.
Okay, I'm gonna go ahead with the sky and get another color, a little bit lighter this time. And I'm just, just so I get a little faceted feel with the sky a little bit. It just adds a little depth to what's going on in the sky. A little richness. Also, a little bit emulating the oil paint. It's nice. away with it. Okay, let's think about, let's see, I want to get a little bit more, well, that's not light enough. Some more greens in here. Darks over here. That's cool. Okay, I think that's pretty good in here, a little bit. I'm going to play with the tree trunks a little bit now, just get a little more texture in them. I also want to play with the, the idea of some cast shadow on these, so a little bit of gray here. A little, a little bit lighter. Moving up. Nice idea of if some of these branches are in the light and some of them are in shadow. This has a lot grayer feel to it. Then I want this particular, is this what I want now? I want a little bit darker. Where is that one stick that I liked for that gray? Or is it this? It's a little too dark, but okay. It's 
really cool how he um, let the limbs go in and out of the light. That's neat. This one really is moving away, radiating away from us. This. And again, I'm not going to try to get exactly in every little mark. I'm really just trying to get the that kind of idea of what what he did and you know I think I'm starting to get that and just get a feel for what he was doing here. Um, this guy is in the, in the light. A little bit more, dot, dot, dot. It's cool. Yeah, it's neat. building a little texture. It's really fun. lighter. Uh, maybe that's a little much. That's maybe a little much. But there's some marks that are pretty light. Start to get the sensation of, right? coming over here. So I need something about these. And some of something about some greens in here. And then I you know I'm probably gonna call it good pretty close. Because it like I said I'm not trying to match him mark by mark, stroke by stroke. But I'm pretty satisfied with what I've gotten here. I could play around with some few more little negative shapes in here. Just refine this overall just a little, just a bit more. That's nice. I could go back in to this this distant area here. There's some play back in here. 
with these shapes. That's pretty fun. I mean, you could play around with this a lot. There's um, an indication of some, that there's some fields back here. It's kind of nice. Some little um, tree trunks way back in here. Just nice. It's kind of fun. So little little bits of detail. Really kind of neat to play around with. And then one thing I do want to do is I'm going to brighten up those rooftops just a tiny bit. I don't, I don't think that's a bad thing. Maybe some of these trees. A little, maybe, could be. Um, maybe even this. Back in here. Maybe a little bit too much, but I don't think I have anything that's exactly what I want. It's a little bit too bright. So I'll look back down. And, uh, side of this tree like so there's all kinds of fun things to find in here that little peekaboo down back in there there's even there's some of it right in right in here just little bits a little bit of that it's kind of fun stuff to play around with. There's light. Bump, bump, bump. more transition here. Um, Okay, I think I'm just about there on this guy. I'm liking what I got, the effects that I got. I loved um, just exploring his 
mark making style and the composition is just pretty pretty grand I would say just a couple more little fun things to do just play with that and brighten that up a little bit Maybe here too. Just a little bit here. It's pretty neat to do. Okay. And then I could mess around with it quite a lot, but I'm not going to do that too much. I'm going to just leave it call it call it good right about here um, looking at all these fun fun little things to pick on and and do with it but um, you know I could I could stay at that a long time so I'm not gonna do that and that pops out just a little bit too much. Well, I hope you have as much fun with this as I did, um, and really, especially with the the foliage masses, it's really um, the, the main thing about this that I think that is really instructive. Um, okay. See, I can't stop. All right. All right, guys. There you have it, Edgar Payne.